Hi class, welcome to lecture. My name is Dr. Kennedy Perrin, and today we will be discussing chapter six, lesson two. So we're going to start today's lecture with talking about information processing. So this is how children take in their environments and also information that they have previously stored in their minds. So you may be wondering what the capacity of memory of infants is. Um, they typically can recognize familiar or similar faces to those that um, are familiar to them. Um, there is an experiment mentioned in your textbook about um, when mothers are recorded reading to their infants, the babies actually sucked more intensely on their bottles um, when they recognized the mother's voice, showing that they had the capacity to know the mother's voice when the mom was reading them a story. Um, even the youngest babies actually start to have memories of what they've been exposed to in their environments previously. So more about infant memory. So um, there are ways to test infant memory. Um, infants show increased memory when given small reminders to that memory prior to a memory test that they're given. So memory typically increases in capacity from between ages two months and six months of life after birth. Um, the memory improves to be more sharp and have more quality of memory um, when the child reaches a year of age or 12 months. So next we're going to talk about the imitation abilities of infants. So imitation is a basic form of human learning. So if we're able to imitate those around us, we're able to learn from them. Uh, there's something called deferred imitation. This occurs typically at six months of age, and it shows how um, infants actually can show signs of this imitation um, even hours after they're born. So this is the basic form of um, imitation that six months olds can uh, do. Uh, that would be similar to something like if I said, clap your hands, and I, I clapped my hands, um, a baby might clap theirs. Or if I waved at a baby and said hi, um, using mother ease or a higher pitched voice, they might also wave back at me. Um, another thing is that mirror neurons in the brain allow us to imitate others. So mirror neurons allow us to watch somebody's actions and produce the same action ourselves. Uh, an example of this would be a rhesus monkey using motor neurons um, in the experiment from the book. So if you see the monkey claps being the symbols um, and making um, sounds with its mouth, vocalizing, um, typically um, the monkey could watch someone do that, clap their hands, clap the symbols, and they would be able to do the same. Um, imitation is a reflex um, after birth. Next, we will be discussing chapter six, lesson three in the next lecture. Have a great day.